This movie is rated PG. Parental guardians is advised. Call to tell me you were coming back today. Babe, you look so. so. you look so pretty. How was your trip? You know, I didn't see your car on the driveway. You know? Very unlike you not to um, <clears throat> go out with your car. A friend of mine, she came to, she said she liked the hair I just got in and she wanted to have it so she she came and she came a couple of hours ago and she took me to where I got it. Your friend, what friend? Anna. Anna. She's a new friend, I met her at the salon weeks ago. A new friend? Saw your hair, liked it. Wanted to have what you have on, right? And so what? She followed you. Huh? Come on, go ahead. Take a drink. She has a go ahead. Okay, so you are with you. Oh, come on, drink up. Drink up. Ah! Oh, father! You... Father! Father!
चीज है to me. Hmm? You lied to me that your friend, who you just met by the way, saw you, liked the hair you had on your head, wanted something like that, that you have on you. Is that it? Money to someone else. You must really think that I am a moron. I'm sitting down here asking you, who are you fucking? Are you telling me that it's bad? What have I done to you? Why do you give my money to a fuck boy? Give it to anybody. My fucking money, fuck boy. My name is Anna. It was your Malcolm. Sydney is my friend. Sydney will not stop yapping about you. I'm sorry. It's really nice to meet you. Okay. It's nice to meet you too. Um. So Sydney left this in my car, and I just thought to drop it off for her. I see. Okay. Well, right now she's in the shower. Can I take this one? Yeah, sure. Oh, it's really nice to meet you again, Malcolm. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, she's in the shower right now, and I'm thinking you could, you know, just wait for her, make yourself comfortable. She'll be out in a bit. Do you mind? No, 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 no. That's that's. Very nice. You don't I love mind. that. No. Fantastic. That way, please. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry. <sighs> yes. You have a really nice face. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. 
Come on. Get up. Hey, get up. Hey, hey, hey. Get up, get up. Come on. Hey. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Sit up. Hey, you have a guest downstairs. I brought you this. But you can't see your guest looking like this. You look a mess. Okay, so you have to clean up. Malcolm asked me to sit down and feel comfortable. It's fine. Okay. So what were you thinking? You forgot your bag in my car. Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sure it must have been a lot of stress bringing it back here. I'm sorry for the inconveniency. <laughs> Sydney, we're friends. Wasn't it inconvenience? It's fine. However, when you stop inconveniencing me, we'll stop being friends. <laughs> How come he's such a gem of a person? Like, he's so cool. Yeah, he is. Huh. With all the money splashing on you. Girl, you need to tell us the kind of prayer you pray to get this type of man. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. Sydney, you're lucky. <sighs> Sydney, you're so lucky. I'm telling you. You're really lucky. Hmm. So, how are you? Come in. Good afternoon, Mom. <laughs> Did you miss me? I missed you too. I'm here to take you home. All right, I grab thought you'd be spending the weekend. His father is back. I see. You see what, Mom? The glasses. Take it off. I want to see how bad it is. How bad is what? Malcolm is waiting for us at home. I don't have time for this. All right, hug, hug your grandma and say goodbye. Let's go. Bye, honey. Let's go. Your father used to hit me too, remember? So there's no shame in talking about it. Malcolm, wait for me in the car. A liar. Mommy. A liar! Daddy never hit you for once! Are you talking Never did he hit you! Yes! Are you talking you to me? Stop please? lying to me! Every time you open you your mouth, talking to lies! Me? Lies! Are you talking to me? No, are you okay? You can't leave me alone. <laughs> Look, 
she's always insulting daddy. No. no. And daddy wants to teach her how to no. be a good girl. Because daddy loves me. Because daddy loves me. Who are you? <laughs> it was all your fault, mommy. You were always yelling at him. You were always shouting at him at the house. What, you want to snuff the life out of me? You want to kill me? Get out! Get out of the house! Go ahead and have no way to run like this! Get out! Malcolm! 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 Where did you go? You scared me. Sorry. Don't do that again. If I say stand by the car, you stand by the car. All right, let's go. See you smoking in the house. Put it out. It's fine. It doesn't. Bobby, put it out. Stay out. Hey! Daddy, Daddy. <laughs> How are you? Okay. I missed you. Huh? Me too. Look at you, looking all fresh, eh? And a bit chubby too. Grandma's with you. Plenty food, eh? Grandma took me to the zoo. I saw a monkey, a lion, and a zebra. How big was the lion? Very big. Very big? Are you scared? Ah, uh -huh. I'll be scared. Yeah. Let's get me back home. Okay. Uh. Hey, um, make something for, for Bobby. He's hungry. Has to eat something. I'm not Bobby's maid. He should make something for himself. You know what? I'm going to talk about the lion and the zebra when I come upstairs. Okay? So, what's your own job? Alright. Listen to me. The next time you insult my cousin in front of my son or anyone at all, Sydney, I am going to kill you. Hear me? I'll kill you and I'll take your mother's life. Don't ever. Try it again. Am I clear? Yes. Good. Make him something to eat. He's hungry. Do it now. Sydney, what is eating you up? I was just thinking about my mother. She doesn't approve my relationship with Malcolm. She thinks I can do better. What? Why would she think that? Malcolm is every woman's dream. He has his flaws. What man doesn't? Look, my ex-boyfriend was a real jerk. Like, he would steal from me, then beat me up every time I confront him. I was with the bastard for two years. Finally, I had the guts to break up with him last year. You were with somebody like that for two years? Well, I thought I could fix him, but apparently it's not fixable. Look, Evan has a way of sending me broken men. Broken pockets, broken life, broken everything. Trust me when I tell you that you're a very, very lucky girl. Just ignore your mom and enjoy what you have. Well, Malcolm has some really nice friends. As a matter of fact, one of them is having a grand opening of his nightclub on Sunday. You should absolutely be there. No, on Sunday. Um, yeah. 
Okay, so I have to be at my parents, but I could come afterwards, right? Okay, <laughs> then it's a day. <laughs> you know, Malcolm really likes you. Wait, did he say anything? Oh, oh no, no. But, but I know my man very well. To know when he approves of my relationship with somebody. A woman that knows a man. I have to renew my stanship. <laughs> Oh wow. Okay, that's good. A brand new club was opening tonight. And anybody who's anybody who knows somebody or who's a relative or friends to anybody was going to be here. Mm. You know, Missy, I hate missing out on opportunities to have fun. Mm. As always, you look gorgeous. Remember when you used to look just good just for me? I don't. Honestly, I don't. You're not important enough to dedicate to memory, Danny. And for someone who works with the East, Honestly, you sound very stupid. The ECC has been watching Malcolm like a hawk since the arrest of his friend Ario. Ario was arrested for his involvement in internet fraud. And he has guaranteed some useful information to the agency. Although none of those information has been proven yet in court. But pretty soon, there will be enough proof to nail Malcolm and his accomplices. And you are telling me this because... He has two properties in your name. His three businesses are also in your name. Let me say more, see? I guess exactly. Now give us useful information about Malcolm and his illicit businesses. And I promise you, the agency will give you and your son full protection. The properties and the businesses will remain yours. And they sent a man-child to tell me this? Tell the ECC that I'm very disappointed. Malcolm, please, you will hurt yourself. Come on, Uncle Bobby. Hey, Malcolm J. How are you doing? Fine. You're going to school, right? Yes. Make sure you be a good boy. Okay. Mr. Williams, 
All I'm begging you that you should give me some time, please. Mr. Williams, you know I've not been late with my rent. Please, give me some more time. Business is very slow, please. I beg you. Okay, Mr. Williams, thank you. I appreciate it. I have to leave here immediately oh, now. Why? Sweetheart, I will explain everything later. But for now, we have to leave here. Okay? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Look, you can go to anywhere you want to find. You can go to Panya. I don't care. But you're going nowhere with my daughter. Sweetheart, come. Come, okay? <laughs> you, you, you. Malcolm wants me to give you this. He asked you to wear this evening. What's the occasion? Hello, sir. There's no new evidence yet. Yeah, Agent Pat and I are working very hard towards that. I know there's no time, but very soon. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Goodbye. Yeah, hello. Yes, uh, the boss just called me. We need to meet ASAP. Yeah, meet me up at the usual spot. I'll be there in half an hour. All right. Where's Malcolm? Waiting for you. Are you going to enter the car? You know how much he hates to wait.
I need to tell you with this dress. Why? I'm just following orders. Please. Hey, I'm just following orders, okay? Follow my lead, follow my lead. Just follow my lead here, yeah. follow my lead. Hey, yeah, I got you, I got you. And yeah, Sydney, I have known you for a long time now. And for as long as I have known you, I have loved you. With all of my life. I've looked into my future and I cannot see myself in it without you. And I'm asking that. Will you marry me? Say yes, yes. Yes. I love you too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> As you can see, he's sleeping. But he has school tomorrow. I can take him to school. I oh, know, his father won't like the idea. Besides, he's outside in the car waiting. Why didn't you tell me your rent was due? It's none of your business. Hey, Ma. Wake up. We have to go home. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. I got this. Thank you for taking care of Malcolm. Are you going to marry him? It's not your business. Let's go. Sydney. Making the same mistake your mother made. I'm sure your mother's better. Making the same mistake your mother made, I'm sure your mother's better.
Officers, this is the woman beater. Arrest him! Good. Oga, your presence is needed in our station. For what? What do you mean? He said you are needed at the station and you are asking what for? Please, who are you? Officers, I know my rights. Even if I'm to follow you to the station, at least someone should explain to me why my presence is required. Okay, good. You have been accused of domestic violence. <laughs> this is outrageous. This is sheer ridiculousness. Me. Look, officer, I'm a domestic violence activist. I have never hit any woman in my life. You're a liar, Charles. A liar from the pit of hell. You see, officer, <laughs> look at her. This is how she insults me. Throw things at me, and yet I still don't touch her. Then how else did I get these bruises on my face? Look, 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 officer, look at her. She's clearly a psychopath. Look, look at her. She's psycho. Anytime so, I threaten to leave the house, she breaks stuff, throws things at me, injure herself just to dent my image. Look, officer. Okay, in honesty, you can ask my daughter. She can confirm for this. Charles. Why are you lying in front of your child? Mimi, come. Tell these good officers how that they used to beat me. Yes, tell them. He doesn't beat her. Yeah, you see? I, I, I told you. So the grin now. Are you smiling, smiling ear to ear? What? What is it? Uh, so I used to think that it's okay, and Dennis's engagement would be the cutest thing I'd ever see. Mm. But you, you outdid Dennis tonight. That is because you deserve the best, baby. Oh, I love you. I love you right back. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what? I can't believe we're engaged. Right. I can't believe you surprised me tonight. You invited everybody, even Anna. And she didn't even tell me. I can't believe that. Yeah. I like her. Hmm. Yeah, I do. I can tell. You have developed a little crush on her. What? Now, don't be ridiculous. The only woman I'm crushing on right now <laughs> would be my daughter. Oh, you're my man. I love you. I love you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Your lipstick. My... <laughs> so that all the Lagos girls would know that you're taking. Your lipstick. Mm. Mm. I want to put it on your lips. Mm. Just my lips? Mm-hmm. You sure? So about, you know, you have your lips <laughs> Mmm, yeah. nice. Nice. You should have seen what happened. Malcolm proposed. <laughs> of course I said yes. <laughs> okay, okay. All right then. I'll talk to you later. Make sure you keep in touch. All right, bye. Congratulations on your engagement. You really have been watching like a hawk. Daniel, what do you want? Have you given my offer a thought? I have limited time. The earlier you cut this deal, the better. Malcolm is an honest businessman, and I have no reason to think otherwise. But if you have a different opinion, look for somebody else to look for the information for you. I better see you do it yourself. After all, that is what you're paid to do. Good luck, Daniel. Yes, come in. Good day, Mama. Good day. You have a 
We have a message from the landlord. Okay. Thank you. All right, thank you. Hello, Sid. How are you? Fine. Okay, a um, quick one. Um, an agent called me, a property agent called me to say that um, they've seen a very beautiful property in Port Harcourt, the Jaro area, and it's going for a very good price. So I'd like for you and Bobby to go there this weekend and sign all necessary documents. Isn't PH too far? Sid. It's an investment, right? Besides, we don't have to live there. No place is too far to make an investment as long as people live there. We're talking real estate. I have something to do this weekend. I don't care what it is that you have to do this weekend. Be there this weekend with Bobby. Whatever it is that you have to do, can wait. I don't know this agent like I know you. I don't trust him like I trust you. So I need you to stand in for me. Of course, I like it. Of course. Yes, I hear you loud and clear. Thank you very much for the information. Thank you. Um, please, Elaji, I'd ask that you have your boys keep a close tab on him. Of course, of course, I'll call the general right away. General, I greet you, sir. Yes, we're still on track. As a matter of fact, Elijah just called to tell me that Tafida was spotted at the airport this afternoon. Yes, General, we're keeping close tabs on him. Of course, I did not forget. I shall handle this one personally. Okay, General, I'll keep you posted. Why does he have to come with me to Potago? Why don't you come with me? It's going to be a very busy weekend for me. Sydney, there is something that requires my attention, so I cannot travel. Okay, let me go by myself then. I don't need anybody to babysit me, especially not Bobby. He has an, un an unhappy streak in him. You're not going to Port Harcourt alone. Bobby will go with you. And that is final. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, Daniel. It's been a very long time. Sir. Really long? Hi, welcome. Welcome, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you. Please make yourself comfortable, please. Thank you. Is Sydney home? Oh, yes, she is. Um, how was your trip? Fine, thank you. Yeah. Um, would you like for me to get you something? Yeah, fine.
Oh, Sydney. Yeah. What's it? You won't believe who just showed up here. Who? Your mom, Sydney. My mother? She doesn't even know this place. A nice house here. Yeah. I must give it up to Malcolm. He has great taste. I know you did not come all the way to admire my house. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm just worried about you. <laughs> Since when did you start worrying about me? Look, mommy, I am fine. I am where I want to be and I'm okay with it. Daniel came to see me. You already considered an accomplice. I am not an accomplice. I don't know anything about Malcolm's dealings. Well, he got you involved by acquiring properties in your name. Sydney. You have a whole lot of life in front of you. You're still You can't go to jail for this man. He's bad to the core. He's a lost cause. Bad man. Sydney. Cut up with the ECC and nail this man. You, you say that I should snitch on the father of my child. Hello, Aka. Yes, did you just pull through? Check your email. I have just uh, mailed you the payment slip. Yeah, so confirm and let me know. Since you're no longer interested in this marriage. Of course I will leave your house. Go! I will leave your house, but not without my daughter. Eh? Charles, you hear me? Sydney. <laughs> Sydney is not going anywhere with you. She will stay here with me and I will take care of her. She's my daughter. You are a joker. You are a joker, Charles. If you think I will leave this house without my daughter, then you don't know me. <laughs> Sydney. She is not going anywhere with you. Hmm? She will stay here with me and I will take care of her. Oh. Go! You want to go to Kafancha? You are joking. See, see your bag. Come on, get if out of here. You think I will leave this house without my daughter? Then you are joking, child. No, me child. Look, I will break you into pieces, so I will, I, will, I will... Don't joke with me. I will break you. Try. You okay? Yes. What's eating you up? Nothing. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna ask. Um, what did your mother want? Uh, she was in the neighborhood and she thought she should stop by and just say hello. I see. Quite thoughtful of her to do that, you know. Good night. Good night.
Hello, General. Yes. Yes, General. I understand that the ECC is watching every move that I make, so I'm quite careful. Aka is on top of it. So I can assure you that it will not be traced to me. I know that you're looking out for me, General. Thank you very much. Good night, sir. I'm sorry, we're fully booked for the weekend. We have a wedding party here tomorrow. Wait, but can you check? I mean, every other hotel, they're all fully booked. Just check and see if we can. We are kind of stranded, okay, please. Okay, I'll look again. A guest was supposed to come in tonight, but his flight was cancelled. So we'll be checking in 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. You can have the room for tonight. Oh, thank you, that's a relief. Peter. Do you know who I am? Can you check for maybe another guest cancel? We need a room for him. Mom, no, not really very room. I don't know anything about the channel this morning. Mr. Gavin wired the money. <laughs> my colleagues in Switzerland just fucked us up. Please smart on us. That's what happened. Ah, uh, Tafida, if I were you, I'd make this really simple. Why do you want to make this hard now? Come on now, stop it. Hmm? I'll make you kidding. Hello? Um, all the hotels around here are fully booked. We can't seem to find anyone to check into. It's suspected. It's weekend. Yeah, but we managed to get one hotel, but they have just one room left. At least you're making progress. So have you checked in? Malcolm, I will not share a room with your cousin. Sydney, what are you going to do? Are you going to go ahead and share that room with Bobby? Or will you pass the night at the reception? Or go around the entire Port Harcourt city to find a hotel that is not booked on a weekend. Which is it going to be? Tafida. I want answers to my question.
give up your blanket. Yeah, I didn't want you to end up with a cold. I didn't expect you to care. <laughs> Why? Because you're unfamiliar with kindness? What? I know you don't like me and I really don't care. But you don't have to be a jerk about it. Wait, congratulations, Bobby. You just ruined my morning. I see. So what time is the flight tomorrow? 12.30. 12.30. Can't wait, baby. I miss you so much. <laughs> Me too, babe. How is Malcolm J? Oh, he's fine. He misses his mom as well. Please, can I say hello? Oh, he's asleep. He's in his room, sleeping. Okay, tell him I called and I will see him later. All right, babe. Bye. Love you. I'll let him know you called. Okay. Hi. Um, your friend is out of town. What? She didn't tell you? Oh no, um, she did. I just wanted to. Check on your mouth, Junior. How nice of you. Thank you very much. As a matter of fact, I just put him to sleep. Um, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah. Uh. So, um, do, do you offer me a seat? Please, forgive my manners, please. Okay. Come right in. Uh, please. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by to, to check on us. So, have you had anything to eat? Oh, yes, I have. Thanks for asking. I, I have had something to eat. Okay, um... <laughs> what? Come on. Wouldn't you like to find out how he feels? To fuck your fiance's best friend? <laughs> don't do this. <laughs> Uh, don't, Why? don't do this. Why? Because you're Sydney's best friend. And I don't think that I want to cheat on her. Hold on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. You want me to fuck you? Huh? Yes, please. Sit. 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 Ah. Sit. Welcome. Sit. 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 Step out of the car. Right. Sit. Come on. Now. Now. Sit. Step out of the car. Let's talk. All right. Let. Let. You know what? Let's talk. Okay. okay. I understand that you're upset, but we have to talk. What's okay. happening? Sit. 
Ma, what's happening? What's what's happening? What? what did I do? Why did you not tell me that both of you were coming back today? Why? Wait, wait, she said she wanted to surprise you. She wanted to surprise? <laughs> yeah, what, what, what's happening? Well, now she's succeeded in surprise. You know what? Make sure she's fine. What? You hear me? Make sure uh, she's fine. Okay, wait, wait, what did they have? What, what, Ma? Uh, Sid! Sid, come on, talk to me. Sid, Sid. Sid. Doesn't matter. Wow. Malcolm asked me to make sure you're fine. Why does he care? Okay, you know what? Please just calm down, okay? Just calm down. You need to relax. I walked I walked in on Anna and Malcolm in my bedroom. Staying at her mom's. this late. Don't tell me you were missing me. Mommy, I came to. I just want you to tell me what happened that night. I really need to know. Why now, Sydney Coca? Why? Maybe I was too young then. But now I'm ready for it. I just want to know, was it really an accident? 
me, please tell me the truth. Yeah, I hated you for years, thinking you killed him just to get away from him. I hated your father because of the way he treated me. But I wouldn't have killed him intentionally. Do you know why? Because he was the father of my only child. He did. You suffered in his hand. And I, I was too young to see it. The day he threw your things out, I was standing by the window. I saw everything. And you refused to go because of me. He did everything to you, but you stayed because of me. Because you knew I loved him. And you think I deserve better than Malcolm? How? I deserve worse. Don't blame yourself. I mean, you were just a little girl that loved her father. Sweet. But please, don't allow my life playing yours. We all know how he is. You're still young. Yes, sir. We got a surveillance footage from the hotel. Yeah, Malcolm was seen in the video entering the hotel, but we are not sure if it has something to do with Taffeta's murder. So we are very close to nailing him. Just give me a little more time. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, sir. Next time you come up with a crazy plan like this, you drain it yourself. Hey. Well. Where's Malcolm Jr.? Uh, in his room, watching TV. Uh, he stepped out. All right, thank you. You're welcome. set out to cheat on you. She seduced me. I, I don't know what I was thinking, falling for it, but it has happened and I am hoping that you find it in your heart to give me a chance to make it up to you. Forgive me.
wants to go and sleep with my friend? You're fucking my friends now? You have no regard for me, none for this marriage! I'm sorry. All right, I'm really sorry. I've been apologizing to you. I'm yes. sorry. So you just apologize and I just, I just fall at your feet and say yes! Well, what else do you want me to do? Kill yourself. I've been apologizing to you! I said I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I am freaking sorry, I'm sorry, I'm gonna apologize to you, I'm sorry! Mao, Mao, okay. Mao. No, sing it, but I'm Ma, sorry! Mao, Mao, you don't have to raise your voice and hand Tell him! Come on, come on! Go ahead and beat me! What, you want me to hit you? Public? Come, come no, on, you want me to Tell hit you? Tell them how you do it! Go see, just but do you down, want, calm down. Do you want me to hit you? Just go ahead! Do you want me to go hit you? Go ahead! Okay, that's a gun! Okay, see, you need to talk. That's a gun. That's a gun, see. That's a gun. You're scared? It's loaded. Uh, yeah. I know. See, no, that, I that know. is loaded. Just, just put it out. Oh, you're very good at hitting women. Just this be careful, okay? He's a man like you. Go no. ahead and hit me. Just, just, just see, put it out. Put it out. Put Pleasing surprise. All the information you need, they're on that flash drive. Sorry, Sid, you came a little too late. Someone smarter beat you to it. What do you mean by that? You're smart. Figure it out yourself. Tony, oh. Sydney, I suppose you've met Agent Part. Hi, Sydney. This is the someone's matter? Sydney. I'm sorry if I hurt you in any way. I was just doing my job. I'm sorry. What's bothering you? Honestly, the way you care about me these days creeps me out. Why? Because you're unfamiliar with kindness? Stop saying that. I am very familiar with kindness. Mm. It's just that you hardly talk to me, so I just assume that you don't like me. You're strong. You're smart, you're kind, you... Above all, you're very beautiful, so tell me, Sid, what's there not like? Do you think you can ever, like, you know, forgive him? I don't know. But my mom thinks I deserve better. Huh? I don't know, maybe. Maybe she's right. I... I'll just go upstairs before Malcolm gets back. Yeah. Yeah. Good night. Good night.
Hey, hey. Hey. Yes, I want to take Malcolm J to the mall. You want anything? No, I'm fine. Hmm. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Come to your mother's place. I need, to, I need to, those guys are after me. The ECC are after me. And you're going without us? What is wrong with you now? You acquire businesses and properties in my name. What do you think will happen to me if they don't find you? Listen, just do as I've said, alright? Just lie, okay? Lie! The fuck no! Alright? Lie no! I'll call you, alright? I'll be without... first. I'll call, I'll call you! You're gonna leave my I'll call you! Oh, I'm in trouble. Mr. Malcolm, you are under arrest. Hands behind your head. Cut him. Mm. I need to stick to my lawyer. Definitely you will. Bitch. You did this to me, huh? Huh? Babe. Call the general, all right? Make sure you call the general, okay? C call him. Just tell him what. C call him. T t tell him that. This is it. Move it. Bomb. <laughs> All right, so you go to your room. I'll join you soon, okay? Why are you crying? Did John Mao get in another fight? <laughs> he was arrested by the ECC. They picked him up a few minutes ago. Oh my God. I should have caught a deal when I had the chance to. I don't know. They, they, they would see me as an accomplice. You know? They're going to come back for me. They're going mm. to jail me. Oh, okay. You, you, let's calm down. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, God. Sid. Sid. Calm down. You are not an accomplice. You don't know anything about all these dealings. And you are not going to jail. Yeah, but you don't know that. How do you know that? 
I got a deal for you. You never keep to time, do you? Getting an evidence is that easy. Why didn't you get it yourself? Okay, you win. Okay. So the deal. If you get everything you're looking for, Mark Conte, on this drive, the property, everything he bought in Sydney's name remains hers. That's the deal, right? Yeah. Good. But why are you doing this? It's none of your business. You're done. It was you the whole time? I thought it was Anna. Wait, how did you know I was talking to the ECC? I overheard your conversation with your mom the other day she came here. You see, Mal is my cousin, but like your mom said, it's a lost cause beyond salvation. Yeah, and see, this is another chance for you to start over afresh, you know, from the beginning. And I believe that you are wise and sensible and you are going to choose the right person. You are definitely on a... But what's your motive, Bobby? Do I need one? 